That was a light application. set off the freaking airbags they're that violent <laughs> awesome hey everybody this video is about the hawk performance track pads for the 2020 through 2022 shelby gt500 uh, dtc 70s for the front 60s for the rear i did a big uh brake video oem brake video for these cars i'll put that link up top uh, the OEM brakes that come on this car are simply amazing. Uh, they bring this 4,100 pound beast to a stop time and time again at the track, no brake fade. Uh, amazing brakes. I didn't think it could get better. It can get better. Uh, these pads from Hawk are absolutely nuts. I mean, you can come in hot into a corner and stand on the brakes and it violently reels the car down. Uh, these pads are not for the street, by the way. If you run uh, cold, you know, pads, not uh, track temperatures, you will chew up your rotors. Um, so these are for track use only. And here we go, looking at these amazing pads by Hawk Performance. Going to start by looking at the website, hawkperformance.com. At the top there, you'll see parts lookup. Click on that, that takes you to the next screen where you can type in the parts numbers for the front and rear track pads. Left side there, number. Type in HB928U.644. These are the new front pads uh, that Hawk has for these cars. This HB929G.618 are the rear pads. Take a look at the fronts. These are the new uh, Hawk pads. These are OEM pads. Um, I've had these on for, what, two track days, I think it has been. Um, so they're they're still fairly new. Maybe it's just been one track day. Um, I've changed uh, pads many times. Seven, seven set of front pads and 7,000 miles. Um, let's talk about uh, similarities and differences. First of all, um, they are, the same exact uh, size. The OEM pads have that uh, brake wear uh, indicator, the little singer there that uh, that designates the outside pad. And uh, by the way, another difference is uh, the beveled edges on the uh, OEM pads. These are square cut, as you can see, and there's no brake uh, wear indicator, so there's no inside or outside. You can put them on either side. The back side of these uh, front pads do have these uh, little things that little nubs that stick up there. Uh, right there, this one's in a little recessed uh, section there so it actually doesn't stick up. Um, I did just check uh, fitment up on the front and these do not interfere with the uh, front pistons. Uh, it's just outside the piston. So first up, uh, I got my car on my lift spot. I'm gonna raise the car up and get uh, um, these pads swapped out. I've actually got two complete sets of rotors uh, for this car. Um, these pads are not good for street use. Uh, they require to be hot. Uh, they, they run much better at uh, track temperatures. 
And when you are on the streets with them in colder kind of uh, temperatures with the pads, they tend to chew up the rotors from what I've heard. So I'm going to have two sets of uh, rotors. Um, I'll have a set that I swap on to go to the track. Those will be bedded with these uh, DTC 70s for the front, 60s for the rear, the Hawk pads. And then I'll have uh, street rotors with uh, my street pads. It's worth noting that I had these uh, rotors turned or machined. Um, you want a nice clean surface without any of the previous uh, brake uh, pad material on the rotors. You can sand them. I just took them in and had them turn. Minimal, minimal reduction of thickness. For swapping out the pads, I've got the stud kit on uh, my front uh, calipers here. Um, if you don't have that, you're going to uh, need to undo the big bolts. Those are considered one-time use bolts. Um, up to you whether you reuse them or not. Um, by the way, I did a big, uh, everything you need to know about brakes on these cars, uh, the OEM setup. I'll put that link up above right now. Um, but that's all the part numbers, mods, uh, weights, uh, you name it. Uh, everything that deals with the OEM brake pads. Um, but for swapping out to these Hawk pads, uh, you got to get the front calipers out. The rear calipers are uh, quick change style. They come out the top of the calipers. We'll show that in a bit. For the pad change, uh, I got a lot more detailed information on changing pads on that uh, brake video for these cars. But uh, basically, I just clean up all the old uh, brake dust, grime, uh, grease, get all the surfaces good and clean, and then uh, put new brake um, grease on all the moving points there and put the new pads on a handy tool i did not have uh, when i did the last brake video is this uh, brake pad uh, uh, spreader um, this pushes the pistons back into the calipers so the new pads are thicker than the old pads uh, you got to get the new pads uh, pushed farther back um, you actually push on the original pads when you slide this caliper aft or when you take the bolt off, you know, and hang it on, up on your spring or something there. Once you remove the rotor and the, you still have the old pads in there, stick this guy in there, this ratchet, and it pushes the uh, pistons back into the uh, caliper. Got one front done, got to do the other front, and then I will uh, show how the rears are done as well. On to the rears. Uh, so since I'm changing the rotors, I have to take off the uh, e-brake caliper uh, there's two bolts here. They're half inch and then uh, I'm also gonna have to remove the uh, The hydraulic uh, caliper here. I'll hang those up uh, with these hangers here out of the way change out the uh, rotor and uh, These are also considered one-time use bolts back there. Um, if you're just changing pads uh, The rears are easy. The pads come out the top. You got to pound out these pins push them out the Pads come out and uh, from the top there Driver's side rear is done. Um, as you're pushing the pistons back to change pads, uh, keep an eye on your master cylinder so it doesn't overflow. I was able to do the front and the driver's side uh, rear and my master cylinder now levels full. I'm gonna pump the brakes to put the fluid back in the lines and push the pistons back up before I do the uh, passenger side rear. A big part of uh, getting these set up properly is the brake bedding uh, procedure, which I'll show here in just a second. But uh, the first part of this procedure is to seal off the brake ducts. I clean that, put some uh, black uh, duct tape on that, seal off the brake ducts. You want your brake uh, pads to basically get warm and then cool down. And I'll show that brake bedding procedure now.
these cars on the track, I highly, highly recommend getting these Hawk pads. They are just ridiculous. Well, that's it. The Hawk Performance DTC 70s for the front, 60s for the rear. The 70s are brand new for the front, custom made for these cars now. If you're gonna take these cars to the track and you want next level braking, go get you some of these pads. Thanks for watching. See you next time.